Hello, Kurt Yelly here again uh, with Keep Senior Safe Training Series, and this is our second installment on general safety. First of all, you want to test smoke alarms and carbon monoxide detectors. I hope you do this at your own home regularly, um, annually. Uh, most people do it. I think they typically send set up a reminder to do it uh, on New Year's Day or at the New Year, just to always just check the batteries. But now, in this case, make sure you're checking these at um, mom or dad's house. Uh, because they may uh, no longer be able to reach these. Um, you don't sure for sure don't want them up on a um, a ladder trying to change this themselves. Install night lights for safe movement, especially at night. Uh, I do recommend and by the stairs. I recommend uh, now that they have motion detector ones that uh, can you know keep keep the bedroom and the the pathway to the bathroom uh, dark. So, so just in case the senior does wake up it's not light and then which could cause them to just get up and stay up um, versus a motion detector one once they move uh, then it, you know the closest one to the bed can go off and as they uh, progress uh, towards the bathroom the the lights can go on uh, to um, to light the way uh, safely to the bathroom and then back avoid throw rugs and scatter mats in high traffic areas uh, I mean, this is one that, you know, I've been in many seniors' homes as a home care physical therapist and now also as, you know, an agency owner of a non-medical is removing all these throw rugs and scatter mats. You know, I don't know what it is about seniors, but they seem to like to have these things all over the place, um, especially on stairs. Uh, even my own mother-in-law, I had to say many, for many years, let's remove this rug. This is so unsafe uh, because she actually didn't even have it secured. It was just laid up on top of the stairs and just tucked. Um, but every time you'd walk up and down it, it needed to be, um, you know, put together again. It would just get uh, bunched up and, and things like that. So, but this is the easiest one to uh, make a change uh, so that they're, it, you know, for fall prevention. Because uh, if you look at this photo right here, easily uh, mom or dad could break a hip, if not more uh, than just the hip. And by doing that, you know, just with the throw rugs, if, if, if you're battling with uh, not being able to remove them, you know, secure them with the, with the rug grippers underneath. Get that at Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace Hardware. Uh, just put those underneath there so at least they're you know, shifting and moving when you step on them. And then this is an interesting picture. It's a clear high traffic areas of obstacles making it easy to maneuver. And some people are like, oh, my gosh, my mom's house isn't like that. But trust me, I've, I've been in homes where it is a mess, um, and, or they're hoarders and they've got a lot of stuff. Uh, as a therapist going into homes, I would um, you know, meet the senior and I'd see the seniors using a walker, but they've got all these boxes and they have to um, try to get the walker through these narrow pathways and shift it and put it to the side and change its direction and things like that, which creates more of a safety hazard uh, than just cruising cruising the stuff that's... that's that, is the obstacle for using a walker. Uh, but overall, just clear, make sure that there's a clear pathway from, you know, bed to the bathroom, um, bedroom, you know, through the, through the hallway. Uh, that's where I've seen it the most is in hallways where there's, you know, boxes just piled up to the ceiling and uh, it's very difficult for the walker to get through. And again, I, I like I mentioned, I would recommend to that senior not to even use the walker because they just need to hang on to the box, boxes and, and stuff uh, because the, the walker then turns into, using the walker turns into more of a safety hazard than, uh, than without one. So those are just general safety guidelines. Uh, wanted to mention, you know, after each one of these that if, if you need any further help, we'd be happy to um, offer you a complimentary consultation. You know, simply enter your information just to the right of this video and Myself or one of my team members will be in touch within 24 hours. Thank you.